wings buzz around, flying from flower to flower, focused, even oblivious to the camera. They have a job to do, making gardens grow. They are an integral part of Glendale Gardens. Flowers grow tall and in every color imaginable, and there's a scent that just enchants you. Different segments of the garden gives you this almost paradise type environment. It's no wonder why Greater Victoria is known as the Garden City. And what a better way to experience the best of what we have than to spend a little time inside one of the area's own garden paradises. In 1979, uh, a gentleman called Hal Herbert and one Mel Kubelier um, got together and believed that there's no place in Canada better suited to promote, develop, educate about horticulture than here in Victoria. Glendale Gardens has been a fixture on the landscape for over 30 years, expanding its gardens and teaching the art of gardening. Today, it features over 10,000 varieties of plants. You can wander around checking out everything from the Japanese garden to the eucalyptus tree to the ethnobotany trail. It's the best. <laughs> what else? And in order to be the best, it needs to raise money. So for the past 17 years, it holds an annual arts and music festival where you can watch local artists honing their craft and musicians playing live music. Your ability to walk around these 10 acres of gardens looking at artists and at the same time having on one side an accordionist playing and then another a violinist and then children singing, we think, and in fact I'm sure, is unique. Graham Cox is a wood turner, an ancient art that's been practiced for over 6,000 years. I really enjoy demonstrating the old-fashioned way of doing it. it this is some of my latest variation of a very ancient piece of equipment that, that um, in the 17th century, apparently, if you were a French gentleman, every French gentleman had a pole lathe in their house. Graham and his unique art are just one of the 60 that will be here during the Art and Music Festival. But what festival would be complete without a little bounty picked from the land? All five senses will be roaring. In fact, this food is so local that it comes straight from these gardens. All of the fruits, vegetables, and herbs will be cooked up in the kitchen to tantalize your taste buds. Grow it, cook it, eat it. We practice what we preach here at the garden. So it's not just art or garden lovers who are going to enjoy this event. There will also be a few classic cars that will be here over the course of the weekend. So come, enjoy and indulge. In beautiful Glendale Gardens, I'm Sarah Wright for The Daily.